and uh, here to talk about how you feel about President Trump's doing in his first 60 days or so. How do you think he's doing? Well, as far as, as, far as we can say, of course, um, he is rippling up through a few, few waves, that's for sure, no doubt. Um, of course, both liberal and conservatives have things to say about him. And personally, personally mutual. I mean, I'm, I'm here, I'm studying HPU as a, as a foreign student. And there's no, there's no winning on this side, to be honest. I, I mean, of course, it's easy to see Trump's approval rating dropping, but then he goes, oh, it's fake news. But at the same time, he's got to face the truth that, you know, he is trying to keep, he has to keep his promises. He has to keep his promise to the American people. And he may say, if, he's, of course, saying a few borderline racist things and outrageous things. And, of course, the media likes to frenzy upon that. And yeah. I think I... Let me ask you this. I mean, whether you're on one side of the aisle or the other side of the aisle, um, pretty much now it's been disclaimed that his allegations against President Obama and uh, wiretapping Trump, Trump Towers has pretty much now been dismissed as uh, no evidence whatsoever. And I'm just curious what you thought about the initial claim and the fact that there's no supporting evidence. Well... It's this kind of Trump's formula. He says something very outrageous. The American people say, oh, is this true? And then because of the fact that the majority of the media can be brought into question, they think maybe he's saying some truth. Until uh, authority above him, in this case the FBI, disputes that, disputes that fact. And, and if, if it's in, my, in my opinion, really, um, the claim was just, was just complete false. It was just, it was another just spontaneous thing that came to his mind. And... In my opinion, it's a way of trying. It's a distraction from the whole point of it, because it's the whole. Do you think maybe that was a strategy on his part to distract from the investigation about Russia and its involvement in the presidential election, or do you just think it came to him at three in the morning and he tweeted it? Well, well let's put it here. Like, if we if we dream if we dream that this thing's happening, then we I'm always seen as dreaming. I personally think that President Trump, he's just saying it to basically roll up roll up the media, roll up his supporters once again. Because it's basically, it's basically the way he works, right? He says something outrageous, his supporters back him, they then attack the other offensive, and then it's another brawl which distracts from the, from the main point. And I think that's his way, he's distracting people. And as much as, because I'm you know, a mass call major, I understand that there's the truth, that's the whole journalism, that's the journalist's job. But if you give people the wrong assumption or, get, or rile up certain feelings, they might, they might think about that without questioning further as, you know, is this true, is this factual? What do you think ultimately is going to happen if there's a, um, um, a process of distraction month after month after month in his presidency? What do you think ultimately could happen if that, if that occurs? Well, everyone says impeach Trump. He's, he's violated the constitution of your country. He's violated every single basically rule in the book. However, however at the same time, he's grinding friends. And that's how, from his, from his story perspective, the reason why Hitler didn't, wasn't immediately repelled is that he has supporters. A big majority of supporters are Germans. And it's kind of how dictators may remain in power, despite the fact they're violating every single civil liberty and, and human right. They have supporters to basically silence, silence any efforts, or basically delegitimize any efforts to remove from power, despite the number of rules he has broken. And who knows, we might not see our civil war, we might see another mass protest. Do you think that's going to show up in the 2018 election of... Uh any uh, House representatives or senators? Well, knowing, 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 number, knowing that now the Senate and the Congress are all made up of Republicans, and I would say 80, 90% of them are on Trump's side. They're, they're conservatives. They have wanted him in power, someone like in power for a long time, and they don't want to keep that. And the progressive kind of trend and progressive movement is kind of being scaled back a bit. I personally hope that, hope that both sides can work together, basically real, real, real Americans, real people, who believe in the country and don't want to stamp to this tyranny, and they can work together, regardless of their political affiliation, regardless of their religious background, and basically work collaboratively to help them in a peaceful manner. If it's violence, then who knows that we could have another civil war on our hands. Okay, well, I want to thank you very much for spending the time and sharing your thoughts with us. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. Aloha.